we're gonna put it on. I'm acing uh, history. Hello, so I am here to do a quick little flip through. Just um, just kind of want to show my dashboards, not really the whole thing yet, but um, I'll show you the reason I'm doing this because I got these little gift bags at the Dollar Tree and they were three for a dollar, different um, patterns of course. These are the two that I actually didn't end up using in my um, in my notebook, but I wanted to show you what they look like because I'm going to reference them later um, to tell you what I did. So I thought they were exactly the right size. I kind of knew they weren't, but I was too excited, and I cut them like this. So I cut this piece off and this piece off. And I completely forgot that they were a tiny bit too big when I laminated them because I was just like too excited to get it done. But um, I'll show you what they look like. So, you know, most most gift bags come with a little tag attached. So these are the tags that were on them. And I just thought they were cute, so I kept them in here. And um, this is my most recent gift card that was given to me. I'm from California and I'm super homesick right now, so one of my old clients sent me this, so I'm keeping it in here because I love Starbucks, I miss Starbucks, and I miss California. <laughs> this was one of my favorite um, of the gift bags of, of these little patterns. It was so adorable, so I grabbed it. Um, this is a little note from my daughter. Isn't it cute that she's 11 and she still loves me? <laughs> it just she she served me some milk and left me a little note because I had fallen asleep on the couch so um, I just think that's sweet because I don't think I was that sweet when I was a teenager I wish I had been but um, I've got my little vintage Santa I'm working on my printables getting started with these because I just got them I just printed them out they're from Rebecca Myers designs and so far, I really like them, um, and I like that I can kind of decide which way I want to flip it, and so that's going well for so far. And so that's the other, the back of that one. This here was, um, I had leftover laminate, and it wasn't enough to do the next dashboard, but I figured I'd try to see if this worked, and it, it worked. Um, it's just, you know, some metallic confetti in there, and I like it. So, left that in there, and then um, this is the next dashboard made out of the next gift card, and I put some stickers on there. I mean, not gift card, gift bag. So, oh, this is from Lady V Designs. I haven't written it out yet. I'm deciding what to do with these, but I like them. They're cute. And she's got a monthly tracker. I printed this wrong, so don't blame her. This is what it's supposed to look like. And I'll skip some of this. The back of that dashboard. The other side of my little experiment. Incidentally, since I'm talking about this experiment, there's a piece in here Maybe I'll find it later. Um, I thought I was getting all crazy creative and brilliant and it backfired on me. I put glitter and I forgot that the glitter would kind of block 
the laminate from sticking and it doesn't look very good so here it is here's a piece of it um i put some stickers in there and some glitter and i don't like the way the glitter turned out but i do like the i do like the snowflakes and the snick the stickers in there but next time i won't use the glitter i would use really big glitter flakes if i were going to do that again so you learn when you make mistakes i guess so this is the next one from another gift bag. I think I love this one. I think this is probably my favorite. And uh, this is a this is an old little gift card gift bag from Starbucks that a client gave me, and I just put some stickers in there just basically to have an excuse to use the bag in here. <laughs> so that's there, and then the back of that dashboard, and this is. The only one that I ended up using that wasn't just the black and red, because I liked all those combinations, but I love this one too. I think it's really pretty, so I went ahead and stuck that in there, and there's the back of that. So I used four of the gift bags, and I have two left, which I guess I'll just use them to give a gift in. But I wanted to show you what I did with the rest of them because I even used the sides here and the bottom because I'm a big time scrapbooker. I'm... So with um, a couple of leftover items that I've had from different things, I made these little coffee cup ornaments. And these coffee cups were, I can't remember the name of it, and... They're like, um, they're like espresso shots, and my husband thought he might use them, but we didn't really like them that much, so we only bought a few and um, didn't end up using them, but I used the sides of the gift bag to wrap these in, so you can see that they're all the same patterns as my dashboards. <laughs> which I guess that's kind of kind of cute. So the way I did that was it was pretty easy. Um, there's a little hole right here in the middle. So I used my book binding tool, my little awl, and I just dug a hole. And this ribbon is actually the ribbon from the gift bags. So I used literally the whole gift bag and I just tied a knot in there so it wouldn't come out. And now I have a cute little Christmas ornament. And I'm gonna make my own little personal tree for myself. And I've got my little cups. Oh, I also painted these gold spray paint because um, they were either dark brown or black. So another thing I did was I had gotten a Starbucks gift set a couple years back. It was in a wooden box and I used the wooden box to store some craft tools. But every little packet of coffee was in one of these little bags. So I took all the bags and I stuffed them with bubble wrap. And now those are gonna be on my little tree too and I splurged and got myself a cute little Starbucks like a real ornament <laughs> so I figured since I saved so much money on everything else I could spend seven dollars on an on an ornament um, now another thing I did with like the bottom of these I took them apart and I'm not done with it yet but I'm making a pocket letter for a swap and I'm going to send this as a surprise gift pocket letter for um, someone in a swapping group that sent me something just out of the blue to make my day because she saw something that I posted. And um, I'm going to fill this in and give her a little bit more goodies. But just so you can see that I'm using all these pieces and really nothing went to waste. And I spent two dollars so two dollars aside from you know the lamination and everything 
two dollars out of those gift bags I still have two gift bags and I made all my dashboards the pocket letter and my cute little coffee cups and I wrap them in packing tape and I'll probably do the whole thing so they're technically laminated too and I love it I think it's adorable so that makes me happy I'm gonna have my own little Starbucks tree and I did it on the cheap and I even get to give something to someone who I don't even know who went out of her way to do something nice for me so some happy mail is gonna be showing up at her at her door unexpectedly so good stuff to the season thanks for watching Hopefully you got a good idea out of any of this, or maybe you'll use some of it. I don't remember the name of these little coffee things. Um, they were $2 each. So, you know, even if you don't like the coffee, it's still a, a cheap way to go for crafts. And I can even store like confetti or whatever in there because I've got all these little like packets of stuff and um, you got to find somewhere to put them. So, happy crafting and planning, and I will see you next time.